And now it's my pleasure uh, to stand with Ben and introduce a young activist who is even much younger than I am. Uh, it's Kate Hodgson who comes from the Climate Kids for Climate Action and we just want to tell you that today is Kate's birthday. Now, I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with this person. This is by far the biggest crowd she's ever talked to. So I think she looks a little nervous. But you know what? I, I just heard Kate speak in Burnaby last week, and I thought she was the best speaker there. And when people ask me what important people were speaking here today, I said, Kate. <laughs> so without any further ado, please welcome Kate Hodgson. change was hurting people all around the world and will only continue to do so. When I learned this, I was scared and I was angry that the Harper government didn't seem to care about the worlds that I would be inheriting. And one day I was talking with a friend about this and she looked at me and said, Kate, you can't even vote. It's not like there's anything you can actually do about climate change. <laughs> and I realized in that moment that I didn't have the choice not to. I am a kid and I know I can't vote. But I am a member of the generation that is going to have to face the consequences of the bad decisions that our government is making today in failing to address climate change. And that is why I work for Kids for Climate Action, and it's why I'm standing here in front of you today. The Harper government is trying to make it sound as if the Enbridge pipeline is the only path to prosperity, as the Enbridge ads have put it. But we, as Canadians, have a right to a sustainable economy, and we practice that right when we oppose the Enbridge pipeline. no to this pipeline, we are saying yes, yes to an economy based on renewable energy. Yes to a secure future for all Canadians. Yes to reducing our carbon emissions for the sake of those who do not have the means to protect themselves from climate change. And that's why we're not stopping until Enbridge packs up and goes home. As of now, the BC provincial government, municipal governments across the province, 49 out of 50 First Nations communities, the municipality of Kitimat, and two-thirds of British Columbians have all agreed that the Northern Gateway Pipeline is not a project that we want on our coast. And, and the NEB has recommended that it be approved anyway. 
They're trying their very hardest to ignore us, but are they going to shut us down? No! I am so inspired by every single one of you here today. This fight has been long and it has been hard and it can sometimes feel like Enbridge is winning. But I am still betting on all of you. And you know why? It's because Enbridge has never managed to get 5,000 people out on a cloudy Saturday because they all thought that the Enbridge pipeline was a really great idea. gain and putting the risk on others. But you are fighting for your children, for each other, and for our world. And to any of you who doubt that we can stop this pipeline, just look around for a second. I can see thousands of people right here, right now, that aren't going to let the Northern Gateway Pipeline get anywhere near their province. Yeah. Enbridge has big checkbooks, but we have big hearts. They have lobbyists, but we have determination. The Harbour government may think that they've got the last call on this project, but we, as British Columbians, have already made our decision. And that decision is no. So some of you had the idea to say happy birthday for Kate without us suggesting it, uh, which was awesome and very grassroots of you, but I think we could do it even better than that. What do you think? All right, who's ready? All right, everybody stretch your vocal cords. E-A-I-O-O. No? All right. Ready, everybody? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Wasn't she fantastic? Yeah. Erwin, wherever you are, we need a Warrior Up shirt for Kate. <laughs> if he's out there. All right. So that was a tough act to follow.